hello. Welcome everyone back to the Prof Beach Collection. Uh, this, uh, what we're doing today is finishing up off these uh, remaining 18 packs <clears throat> in the Darkness Ablaze booster box. I'm gonna pull these out. I'm using a little bit of a, a different setup, so let me know if the uh, audio isn't coming out clear or or if, if it's uh, not in focus. Um, but yeah, we have 18 packs. Um, this is, <clears throat> we actually had some really cool pulls from the previous week. Last week, we um, we got the Butterfree uh, V, the Galarian Stunkfish uh, Fish D, uh, the Rapierier V, uh, which is a nice little uh, rare, secret rare card here, um, or ultra rare card. Uh, the Internetus VMAX and the Galarian Slowbro V. Um, and thanks, Miss Nile, for the mic check and the uh, video check. Appreciate it. And uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. <clears throat> what I did, you know, just a little bit of commentary. What I've seen and and um, what am I what I've been noticing in the market uh, marketplace actually is there's. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think it's me that's making it more popular, but um, just myself at least. But the, the Pokemon cards have all gone up in value quite a bit. A lot of these boxes that I, I've been looking to buy some new boxes for um, to provide more content, and uh, they've all gone up about 20, 20 to forty percent, uh, depending on uh, really depending on which of the series that we're looking for. Um, so I don't, I don't know if that's, uh, the stimulus checks, um, put stimulus checks having to play, uh, into the collector world, or if there's just a, you know, a normal supply and demand. So, um, anyways, it's, it's something to look out for. Uh, just want to let everyone know that uh, I've been seeing some prices, uh, go up quite a bit. Uh, Toxapex here, a big parasol. Uh, Shinotic, Shinotic uh, Dino, a Jigglypuff, a Dunsparce, a Clink, a Marini, a Marini Reverse Hollow, and a Galarian Demartian. All right. For my what we're looking for, um, the, the chase card in this deck is is uh, is the Charizard V Max. Um, there are some cool trainers in here too, but uh, everyone, uh, you know, for the folks who aren't aren't uh, are new to this, it's 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 the it's the Charizard. You know, that's that's the one that everyone talks about. That's the one that holds value. Um, welcome, Kathy, to the. To the stream, the Dedene here. That's a good card. I've been playing against that card in the game recently. Um, it's uh, uh, been tough to fight against. Um, the Bird Keeper, the Soul Rock, the Teddy Ursa. That's a really cool card. The Rookie D, the Torchic. Juan, welcome. Thanks for joining, man. The Trap Pinch, Jigglypuff, a Toxapex Reverse Hollow, and a, a Mimikyu. Q. Um, you know, we this is the same box that you know that we've already pulled some really nice gems. So I'm I'm hoping this is gonna, isn't going to be a boring. Uh, Boring show today because uh, I think we we did get some nice hits already. So I'm not I'm not sure what to expect in the remaining uh, packs here. I know there's an exciting uh, football game going on right now, so I am going a little quicker than usual. <laughs> Another Dene, um, a Vibreva, a Corvus Squire. A Carablast, a Melton, a Marini again, 
a purloin, a starly, a hiding energy reverse holographic, and the evolved Jigglypuff turns into a Wigglytuff. So uh, non hollow rare. Uh. Looks like it's auto focusing quite a bit. I feel good about this pack. Let's see what we get here. Hopefully, uh, I might have to change that setting so no one gets a little nauseous of uh, going back and forth here. Uh, a semi seer, a Doug trio, a semi sage, Corloin. Uh, hippo, hippotus, hippotus, hippopotus, <laughs> a centret, centret here, our larvesta, our a morlol, a pan sage reverse, and we got looks like a basic V. Which one? We got a scissor V. Awesome. Put this one away. All right, good, good start. We'll add that to the add that to the stack here. All right. Yes, it's a morel, <laughs> like a mushroom. That's correct. It's a. Um, a mushroom type Pokemon. Let me see if I can get this thing to stay focused in the right place here. So, oh, keeps on changing. I'll, I'll fix that next time. Let's see what else. Let me see if I can actually mess around with that setting. All right. Oops, I might have froze it. Yeah. Must be uh, nervous with one watching today. Um, Get this back up. All right, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, no shenanigans here. These are all my cards. I wasn't I'm not trying to slip anything in, just uh, cameras. <laughs> Uh, having a fun uh, day without me here, with me here today. All right, we got the Turbo Pass Trainer, uh, the Vibreva, the Goth Gothor Rita, uh, Galarian Mr. Mime, the Electric Electric, the Dino, and the Passimian, the Bunnelby. A reverse hollow larvesta and the a grand grand bull. All right. <laughs> All right. This 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 autofocus thing is uh, it, it's sort of driving me nuts because um. So give me one sec. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this again. Hopefully I don't um. Don't mess it up like I did last time here. All right, and we. All right, cool. I think I got it to stop focusing around. You know, not trying to make people throw up and have and have seizures. 
with the changing uh, zoom here. Cool. The semi pour, the spike muff trainer. Uh, this is a stadium card. Whenever a player's active Pokemon moves to the bench during your turn, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. Okay. Bird Keeper, a Wishy Washy, a Pan Sage, a uh, Tauros, Diglett, uh, the cutest card in the deck, maybe the Scovet. Uh, Galarian, Mr. Rhyme, which is the stage one evolution of Mr. Mime. It's a reverse hologram here and uh, a holographic. And then the Mimi Q uh, is the just the uh, non holo rare. All right, so this is the card that we want. That's the Charizard V Max. Um, don't believe this is the one with the rainbow version, that's the Champion's Path one. So if you're looking for the rainbow uh, colored Charizard V Max, that's going to be in the Champions Pack, Champion, Champions Path Pack, which are hard to come by these days. Do I have a favorite Pokemon? Um, you know what I? I'm always been a fan of Pikachu because I mean I know that's kind of boring, but uh, you know he's. He, for the casual fans, uh, people seem to know Pikachu. Um, you know, he, he gets the starring role in a lot of his movies. Um, it's really what got me into it was always Pikachu, which was uh, in those cartoons. He was Ash Ketchum's uh, main Pokemon. Um, so uh, for me, that goes back. You know, when I play the game, it, it's a lot of times I'm using the Charizard deck or something similar to that. So you know, in the game, I, I'm a fan of Charizard. Got a <laughs> all right. I got an old old PC trainer card here. Um, yeah, so flip two coins with both for heads, put a card from your disc discard pile into your hand. Nice way to get your cards back. Um, Ariados here, it looks like a long leg Pokemon, a Dunsparce. Clink, a Marini, a Torchich, a Starly, Starly, a Reverse Hollow, Wishy Washy, and what do we have here? It looks like it, I think it's just a basic, cool looking card, a Vivivolt. Let me find where I put that. Now that it doesn't, there you go, Vivivolt. All right, I'm going to just put this in the top loader here. All right, let's keep it going. I'm gonna try to get it where my hands are and focus it right there. Cool. Well, while everyone's uh, here, if you are liking what you're seeing and enjoying this um, card opening, please hit the like button. Uh, appreciate it. If you haven't already, I appreciate that. All right, let's keep it going. We got a clang. A semi sage, a billowing smoke, a pan seer, a, a marit, a snowball, another taros, a rookie D, um, a passamian, reverse hollow, and a the Nilux, which is a non, it's a rare, um, basic rare here because we don't, hit, it's non holographic. All right. 
appreciate the likes. Thanks. And for all those that are ret returning uh, viewers, thank you for your continued support. I, I'm, I'm having fun opening these, these up um, and sharing it with you guys. Uh, for all the new viewers, appreciate you trying trying it out. It's something, we're trying to keep this on a on a recurring basis, 2 p.m. every Sunday Pacific time. Um, you know, we'll try to do it once a week. Uh, that's as much time I have, as I have for this hobby. Uh, I enjoy it, and it, it looks like it's uh, you know some people are also doing it as well, which is nice. Um, it's keeping the values up, so. I might put uh, some of these cool cards. I might send it in the PSA and, and uh, see what happens. Uh, hopefully, we get some PSA tens back. A Zolet, a Phoebus, a Hippopotas. Ooh, a reverse um, Allo Carnivine, and a Swana. All right, we're, what are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we, we just we just hit the halfway mark. This is pack number 10 here of 18. It'd be nice to get a couple more. It'd be cool to get a secret rare. Um, another full art card would be amazing. All right. A Fletch Chinder, a Hiding Energy, a Parasec, a Spinarak, a Larvesta, Hippopotas, a Gullet, a Skitty. It's a kitten Pokemon for those that are interested. Or a, a Pincurchin. Reverse and a hologram, a holographic toxicity. Cool. All right, not the full art, but uh, at least it wasn't just a basic rare. We got a, at least a foil on the last card there. It's always a little disappointing when uh, it's just a a basic rare. You're always hoping to get a little bit of a more of a hit at the end. <laughs> Toctricity sounds dangerous. Yes, it's. Uh, uh, I'm sure it does a lot of damage. Um, not as cool as a familiar bell here. Search your deck for a Pokemon with the same name as the Pokemon in your discard pile. Reveal it and put it in your in your hand, and shuffle your deck. All right, you got a, a Rose Tower Stadium uh, trainer card here. A, a Steeny. I don't think I've opened one of these before. It is a fruit Pokemon. A Chupchu. Um, looks like he's a little cold, might have a cold. Probably not as popular during COVID days for people to be sneezing, but looks pretty cute. A uh, Wimpod, a Bunnelby, a Toxel, a Sinistee, a Doug Trio Reverse Hollow, and a Lipard. All right. Chubbachu, yep, well, on those cold days, yep, everyone's kind of, you know, maybe a little snotty. <laughs> it happens. All right, you got to, let's go. And you're gonna, a Struggle Gloves, Clang, a Dark Tricks. You know, some of these cards I haven't seen before, so it's pretty cool that I'm, I'm you know, pretty much, uh, with your opening this box, I might, I won't come close to having a complete set, but, you know. Um, making a dent towards it for sure. Escovet, a Shelmet, a Panpour, Galarian, 
the mansion, the Manitin. Um, revert. And, oh, what do we have here? Ooh, cool. A a centi scorch V Max here. Um, not sure if the shine is coming through here in the camera, but let me put this away here a little bit. What does it do? Let's see, a G Max Centiferno. This attack with uh, two basic, two colorless energy, all it takes. This attack does 40 more damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. If you did any damage with this attack, you may attach a fire energy from your uh, card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Um, yeah, centering doesn't look too bad actually. This is this is nice. All right, it's gonna take the seat. Right, I'll just put this down for now. We'll, we'll, we'll do a recap afterwards when we're done. But that's a nice hit. All right, let's keep it going. Let's see what else we have here. Energy, a rare fossil, semi-poor, or cor corvisquire. It's a raven, a toxel. <laughs> this is a baby Pokemon. A skitty, a rollet. A wishy washy, a Q font, a goth, goth, gothitel, okay, and a galarian, uh, darn maniton. Cool, we got five packs left. Um, let's see if we can get that Charizard. V Max. Uh, the funny thing is, I actually just got one in the game out of, randomly, um, so I'm pretty ecstatic. That people really don't like seeing that card because uh, as soon as it's revealed, they seem to quit, and and uh, I, I find that funny. Here's a trainer card, Rose. Uh, attach two basic energy cards from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon V Max. If you attach any cards. Any energy cards in this way, this card to hand. All right. Uh, Dark Tricks, a Lunatone, a Torchic, a Starly, or Skarmon, a Skarmori, a Pan Sage, a Electric, a Hol Reverse Hollow, Spike Muth. And a Mel Metal Rare uh, Non Hollow. All right, four left. All right, let's let's see what we have here. We might feel good about this pack. Let's hopefully it's a Charizard, a Vanillish. Uh, that looks good on a hot summer's day. Clang, uh, Gothorita, Hand Sage, Gullet, a, van a Vanillite, <laughs> Trap Pinch. A Teddy Ursa. Uh, yes, this is live, D. Thanks for joining uh, this stream. Uh, hopefully, you enjoy what you're what you're seeing. Welcome, um, Skitty. What do we have here? A uh, Arc 
Arctozolt, uh, hologram, holographic card. So we got a little bit of a foil. Not, it's better than a non, uh, <clears throat> non-foil. <laughs> yep, I can see what you could type, D. Thanks for joining. Hopefully, um, uh, I want to, you know, I think I think I know who D is. D is one of my longtime friends. I think, uh, actually, I think I went to see the Poke the first Pokemon movie with him over at the Long Beach Town Center at the Edwards um, back in the day. So it's cool to see that he's still into into Pokemon as well. It's been probably close to 20 years. Powerful energy, a soul rock, a, a steeny, a larvitar, a nicket, a, a bond sweet. I always, I still like these clay cards. They look so realistic. They, they, they make a claymation. They make, they drop this into in, into real life or something and take a do a photo shoot. A snowball. A Melton, a Galossopod, a Reverse, and a uh, Gothitelle regular rare card. All right, two packs left. I'm going to save the, the Charizard art for last, just uh, out of superstition. We'll see. All right, energy, uh, Doug Trio, uh, a billowing smoke, a heat energy. This is a. Uh, I've been using this card quite a bit in in my games. Actually, it's a. Uh, it's pretty nice because, uh, as I mentioned in in the games, I'm usually playing a lot of a Charizard deck. This is a nice energy card. It actually adds 20 health points uh, to your to your Pokemon to your fire Pokemon, so it comes in really handy. A uh, Skarmory, a Pan Sage, Electric, a Fletchling. I don't think I have a Fletchling yet. Galarian, Mr. Mine, a Rose Tower Stadium Trainer card. And we got a Foil um, Blaziken. All right, last pack. Let's last pack for the day. Um, of this darkness ablaze. I uh, was telling people that I was uh, trying to find a new booster box of these, which I, you know, and uh, anyways, they're hard to come by or they're marked up pretty high. Um, I was looking at the same place where I bought these and they were, uh, I think 40% more. So it's, it's kind of, and I bought this box less than a month ago. So it's crazy seeing prices go up. Um, I don't know. It's just gotten popular again. I know Pokemon's going to do a, a huge uh, release this year. This is their 25th year anniversary from the first day, from their um, 25th year anniversary for Pokemon, which started in Japan. I think it's it made its way over to the U.S. in, in 19, uh, I think, 1999 uh, or so. Um, so... Big year for them. They're making a huge push. Um, here we go. Fletch Chinder, Rare Fossil, a Passamian, um, of another Fletching, a Wimpod here, a Grimer. I like the art's pretty cool here. <laughs> it's a sludge Pokemon for anyone that's interested. A Clink, a Q Font, uh, Reverse. And a muck, which is the evolved version of Grimer, which is another sludge Pokemon, of course. That's all I, all we have today. Um, you know, I, I, not too bad. Kind of expected since uh, last last week we had um, really uh, two really cool hits there. Uh, today we got the Scissor V, which is a nice rare card. Uh, Vivavolt V, which is also another nice uh, rare card. Um, 
this is a, a VMAX, which is, um, it's also a rare car, not as, not as rare as the Rikerior V here, but really, you know, really cool card. People seem to use it. I played against it in the game quite a bit. Um, seems to be pretty popular. Centering's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, now this is, this is really, this is really cool. Um, you know, I, I, uh, you know, some of my buddies have uh, been collecting Pokemon cards for a very long time. And, uh, I've, I've, I'm still looking for my old collection because um, I'm I'm pretty sure I have some first editions uh, hidden away in the garage somewhere. So uh, it'd be pretty cool to see what we could find. These things, as long as they're in pretty good condition, they're worth quite a penny. It's 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 remarkable uh, what's going on. Um, you know, not sure if it has something to do with people just being bored at home and nothing else to do, so they're collecting and playing uh, these games. Uh, that's one aspect of it. I mean, I, you know, I have, I have a degree in economics and I could see that, uh, you know, of all the uh, stimulus being done, people are, you know, well, government's printing money. So sometimes, you know, you, you buy stuff that, um, that are uh, short in supply and, uh, you know, it's all demand and supply. So supply and demand kind of drives up prices sometimes. Um, who knows? Who knows how long this will last? But, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people are seeming to uh, buy a lot of Pokemon stuff, and that's just one thing. I, I've seen people um, buy, spend a lot for basketball cards lately. Um, even, even uh, sealed up video game boxes are collector items. Um, one of my buddies, uh, actually, uh, former uh, one of the guys that I used to work with or uh, uh, knew from work, he he just paid. I believe $189,000 or so for the one of the first prints of Harry Potter, uh, which set a world record for the most expensive uh, price that he ever paid for a book. Um, I'm not sure if that's a new trend or not, or is this just going, or people just going crazy? Who knows? Um, but uh, the fact that a, a card like this, not this card, but you know, a Charizard first edition you know, is, is, it can be sold in for six figures. It's quite remarkable, but, uh, I appreciate everyone joining. I'll be back next, next Sunday. I haven't figured out which one of my boxes I want to open up. I might change the genre and switch it over to a sports thing. Um, but, uh, I'll, I'll put it up on my website, you know, let people know on my Instagram. If you haven't already like the, like the stream, if you, and if you haven't, um, please, um, Go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button, which should be down here somewhere. I appreciate it. Thanks again, everyone. Appreciate it. See you guys next time.